Bonjour! <laughs> Welcome to the Mad Witch channel. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Um, it is a beautiful Sunday morning. The sky is blue, there's fluffy clouds, the spring bulbs are bursting, there's catkins all over the trees and for the first time in a really long time I feel kind of alive and I feel as if I'm just kind of um, starting to come out of that hibernation. I'm, I, I'm a Virgo, I'm a hermit, I am a perpetual student and I, I noticed that I would spend, I would prefer to spend all my time in books and I love I love that. I love all types of books. I'm hugely into medieval history. I love the witchcraft books. I've got um, just so many books that I tend to want to read. I'm, I'm, I'm reading. I'm on the last one. I thought I'd, this is all over the place, so no professionalism here. This is the last of the um, the Witches of Ilion, the book six and it is the Fathomless Caves, and this is Kate Forsyth, and I have read all six, and I am so lucky to have these because my daughter brought them over from uh, Australia and got them for an absolute steal, so I'm, I'm so, I'm, I've treasured reading these, and they've got me through some hard times, um, some times when I just needed to disappear into a book, and this has been a pleasure so um so i thought today i would just come on and just just wrap, do a waffle because that's what i do isn't it so uh what about my dreads my update updates on dreads um they're very my dreads are very kind of wild <laughs> so, like me i've actually taken some out of the top i took four out um and I might well take a few more of the top ones out. I'm not sure. I might do because I genuinely cannot crochet. Um, excuse me. I've got my cup of coffee. Uh, it's my filter coffee. It's my weekend indulgence. My weekend pleasure is filter coffee. I love the smell, the rich aroma as they would say on the TV, of, of filter coffee. In fact, I think I could actually probably get away with just sniffing the, the packet and not actually drinking the coffee because you get that massive sort of hit of that amazing flavour or that scent and it kind of just perks you up straight away, doesn't it? So I've got my coffee. The sun is shining and I just wanted to do something a little different. I've been doing so many videos on tarot and I know there is kind of the camp that says, oh, you know, we've done tarot to death. But I think what I've kind of come full circle is there will always be people coming into tarot. And there will always be people who want to make a decision about um what decks they want to choose um and sometimes the oldies are nice i've got a video going up about tarot of a moon garden i'm really chuffed about this because i got this i got this really good price um and if you watch the video you'll you'll, you'll see i talk about it and I, I love it but it's a fun deck for me it's a fun deck it, it's all about i kind of been in this serious stage for so long i've been battling so much going on and we're not through the woods yet um you know we've got we have got some updates things are starting to to fall into place but just as quickly as they fall into place it throws up other things that we've got to other challenges we've got to to get over so it, it has felt like since kind of i don't know last year going through um, obviously January, February are usually quite difficult months anyway. It's dark, it's cold, it's often wet, although we've had very little rain actually here in this part of the UK for uh, a good good while actually. We seem to have all our rain in November and, and October when it literally just felt like it was we needed a, an arc because of the amount of rain and now we don't seem to have had any. Well I I, I love the rain, but I like to be indoors when it's raining. 
<laughs> I, I I will, you know, go out and stand in it at some times, especially in the warmer weather. But I I've haven't always felt well over the last few. Um, I'm still got stuff to sort out. So sometimes getting outside, other than when I have to, is is not really happening. But I do try and go out. There's clumps of crocuses all around um, my father-in-law's garden. Um, I'll try and put some pictures up at the end because I'm, I'm really not very clever. I can't put them up the top like other people do. Um, so anyway, I'm waffling. But I just wanted to come on and, and do this, really, I suppose. It's not all about tarot. So, yeah, so I, I talked a little briefly about my dreads. So that journey is ongoing. I can't crochet for love nor money. I've tried. So I'm taking out a few of them to give me just easier maintenance on them um I, I i don't i'm not working at the moment i'm still you know backwards and forwards seeing my mother-in-law who is um bless her heart you know in the process of going into a home so there's going to be a lot of of hands-on keeping her you know happy and and looking after her making sure she feels um settled and secure so my job is is kind of focused on her but i don't get paid for that which of course i wouldn't expect to but of course we still need money coming in to pay the bill so it's a bit of a kind of it's it's a tricky one i i can't justify really having them done my unless i can do them myself so this is kind of me working with my dreads what else have i got going on i've ne i'll show this now because it's huge this is a massive I can't, I, I could put a picture at the end. This is my, it's called a grandmother's flower garden. I, I think, yeah, grandmother's flower garden. Um, it is, it, it it's my eldest granddaughter's, I made it for her. It's English paper piecing. So it's all hand sewn. Each of the hexes is hand sewn. And I've used, I've literally recycled a duvet um and other bits of paper to uh, other bits but other bits of material even with the border and the back that i'm about to put on it's all recycled from stuff i had at home um and i said i'd make it for my granddaughter my eldest granddaughter well the thing expanded so it's now the size of a double bed um so she's probably going to be able to wrap herself in it 10 times over bless her she's only six but i'm right at the point now where i'm just about to put the wadding on and the back and the back is again material that i bought to make dresses for the girls when they were little and i'm really not very good at dressmaking at all so um i'm going to use it to put the back on this quilt so i'm nearly finished with that one oh moss say hello look i see you peeking out there there say hello bless um so let's put you on the side what else have we got so, he's just fallen on the floor he's gonna kill me later he's not happy with me is he so this is the next one i'm making but this isn't an english this is english paper piecing but this isn't um a grandmother's flower garden so with the grandmother's flower garden you actually get this design where you have the hexes and then it's like a path that runs through them and that thing has taken me forever my husband said to me i don't understand how you can sit there day after day sewing those little hexes but i love it i i this is one of the most therapeutic things i could do um you cut out your material i cut out squares i've got it down to a fine art now and i'm not precious with the the bat i for example i won't take the the batting the, the batting the um oh i flipped my mind's gone the the way the way you make them is you, is you kind of sort of stitch this running stitch round it's not even a running stitch i don't know what stitch they call it actually but you kind of secure it with this this why can't i remember what it's called tacking stitch there you go maybe there's a different name for it in america but you tack them and then you sew them together with these tiny 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 little stitches and 
it's one of the most therapeutic things I've ever done. I, I, I love it. And the good thing is that I can then take the, the hexagons out and I can reuse them, which is, is what I'm... So here's one. I mean, I normally use a, a pair of scissors, but... Ta -da! Now, I mean, years ago, they would have made their own. And I do confess I'm quite lazy that I buy them because the um, the paperweight is just that bit better. So and they've got the holes already cut out for you to pull them out and I can use them and use them and use them. And I want to get some squares now and I, I've got a pattern I want to make for myself. But this is for my next granddaughter, the next one in the line. Um, so it won't be as big because I'm not making a double for her. Um, but anyway, so that's that. And then I've also got another quilt going on for my granddaughter in Australia. Oh, that's not that one. I've probably shown bits of this before. Oh, it's, I haven't brought all of them with me. Okay, well, this one is not finished. This is the one I'm working on at the moment. Um, and what I'm doing is I've got, my mother-in-law gave me some of these doilies. So on each of the doilies, I'm doing a Beatrix Potter figure. And I haven't brought them, so I can't show them. But, um, and I'm not running downstairs to get them, I'm just not doing them. But anyway, you get the, the, the I've, I've done a couple. I've done a Peter Rabbit. What's the other one I've done? Let's see, I sat and did, did them. This, but they're going to go round this this woman that I've uh, also done is um. It's not. Is it Victorian? No, it's not. It's more George. Oh, I don't know. This 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 lady in the in a, in her garden with with the big sort of bonnet on. I don't know what era. Considering I love history, you'd think I'd know. But anyway, so she's kind of going in the middle. Um, almost like Beatrix Potter herself with these uh, these little um, hand embroidered uh, characters round um, round her and then I'm hoping to fill it in with lots of lace and doilies and, and stuff. Um, I haven't finished this, this is a project I started last year, this is my Yule Cottage and I used the little tiny quarter inch hexes to make that and it's not finished I was using different pictures that I had found on the internet and now I can't find them <laughs> and I'm, I'm not I'm not the best I mean yeah I've kind of come up with the idea for the Beatrix Potter quilt but I need I'm a I'm far better a copier I'm I'm not very good at creating stuff off off my own bat um, and this is one of my own personal projects. My Georgian lady is coming together. Um, this is just for the sheer pleasure of, of doing the hand embroidery, but I'm also in, in, bringing into it a bit of applique and, and adding bits and pieces. And I find that quite, quite fun. But at the moment, I'm so desperately trying to get these quilts finished that um, my, I suppose my, my, quilting projects have kind of gone for a burden so that's kind of where I am with my sewing my sewing is my absolute life line I, I love it I I don't know that I love it more than tarot but I end up with a finished result and um, it's just fun so uh, what else is bringing me absolute joy at the moment well for quite a long time, I haven't been wearing makeup. Um, I felt as if I reached an age where I just couldn't be bothered, you know, especially with looking after mum. I would be up early. I literally, if I had time just to get dressed, it was it was something. And um, I just kind of decided I, I didn't I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to be uh bothering i suppose and um so that was yeah that was that was it i didn't i didn't bother most of my makeup's actually really old i don't have a lot of new stuff but for my son's wedding last year i did treat myself to a teeny tiny chanel lipstick um 
it's only it's only that little it's only a little one but i wear it so rarely it doesn't really matter <laughs> so i got i got that um i was quite chuffed i have a chanel lipstick um the perfume of choice is usually my coco chanel or my chanel number no. five which is a, a vintage bottle but again they're really precious so i don't wear them every day um the one i tend to wear every day is spellbound and you can see I'm nearly out of it. Um, I always used to think my daughter, especially my eldest daughter, sticks to one perfume. And I kind of thought, oh, I should be like that. That's classy, isn't it? One perfume. But I kind of depends on my mood, what I want to wear. Um, and I tried, I did try, I sort of wanted to get away from commercial um, product products and kind of use uh, essential oils. And um, so that's kind of somewhere where I, I want to sort of work in uh, getting the rubs using you know essential oils and some carrier oils to make um make something i can wear i love gardenia it's one of my absolute favorite plants i've desperately tried to grow them but to no avail <clears throat> so the next best thing essential oil um so what else have i got well i picked up a neil yards organic geranium and orange hand cream they've got a special offer in one of the supermarkets these are not cheap for me and i had quite a lot of them for a while and i just run out and couldn't replace and then I saw this and I thought, oh, actually, that's that's a good price. And again, I use it quite sparingly. Um, I tend to use Nivea slapped all over my face or whatever when I can be bothered to moisturize. I know some women have this really good regimented sort of routine where they do all this stuff. And I'm really haphazard in it. And I kind of need to get into a routine because obviously I'm now getting to the end of the menopause. So everything's creaking and groaning and dropping and falling south. And nobody really warns you that it's not just the, the, the outside that seems to fall south. Everything seems to be dropping. It's not a good it's not a good look. You have to work on it when suddenly, you know, when you're young, I can remember as a teenager, I would spend hours on my makeup and, I would, you know, I was really pleased with my look. I could go to the nightclub and I would look good now when I really need to work on the makeup or to, I can't be asked to even draw in my eyebrows. You know, it's like what's going, it's the wrong way around. It's like education, isn't it? When you're a kid, you don't want to, you don't want to study. Not everyone wants to study when they're a kid, but when you, when you get older, that's the only thing you want. Well, it's the only thing I want to do is study. Anyway, uh, what else? Well, I've got, I do have another facial cream. This one I got off the internet Etsy, I think, handmade in Britain, and it's Caro's Creams Organic Argan Chamomile Cream. I use that. It's lasted for, again, I bought this. I can't remember how many. It's still going strong. Um, another absolute is the well this is an anti-aging witch hazel but it wouldn't i would have just gotten a, a, a witch hazel the scent of this has got aloe vera and rose and oh i could sniff this all day oh it smells so good and when you put it on your skin it kind of tightens everything up and i got these little are they bamboo i can't remember now again these are these recycled sort of cotton wool thing cotton pads that you can wash so you, you you're not you know you're being good to the ecosystem and they're brilliant so i use those i have little pieces of material that i have that are scraps off of bits of, of you know sewing i'm now using as bookmarks <laughs> I mean, so, so what else have i got in the mix i've talked about that my absolute pleasure at the moment is the best song um i made this bag well i made this bag actually for the Grimald and the Grimald got ousted for the for the Besson song um I my my bags are haphazard there's nothing particularly tidy or even um straight about them I just they're crazy dangly I put dangly things on um the Besson the the Grimald has now got a box which I have to um decorate it was a cheapy box from the works 
So Besson Song, it smells divine because I keep in it a little, I think it's sandalwood. Oh, it's really good. It smells like, it just, and it's because of the porousy nature of this deck. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not showing decks today. It's not what this is about. But because of the porousy nature of it, it's really taken the scent. So it smells divine. The minute you open it, you can really, really smell it. So I'm, I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? It's a standard book. I read it all the time. Nigel Pearson's Walk in the Tides. It does it month by month. It's absolutely lovely. I couldn't be without it. Um, I've got a few books on the go that aren't fiction. Um, the Black Toad I'm reading, which is by Gemma Gary. Uh, this is a Troy book. Um, that's on the go at the moment. I absolutely love walking the seasons with the wild wood. My deck is old. Well, it's old now. It's trimmed and edged, um, and I, I did the backs. Um, the idea, I know a lot of people are working with this deck at the moment. Um, I like working with it. I decided to work with it. It had nothing actually to do, strange enough, that the other people were doing it. At the time, I didn't know other people were working with it. I just felt that it, it was such a seasonal deck that I could work through the seasons. I was just trying to find a nice winter scene. It's not the... It's probably how I felt, actually, over the last few months, to be fair. And um, very much something that, you know, I could relate to. There's another winter image. But this deck has seen some kind of revival, I suppose. Um, oh, beautiful. I'm really loving Otter energy at the moment. It's that lovely, playful family energy that I completely relate to. I've kind of had a time of really deep reflection and that feeling that um, I've stopped trying to look forward. I've, I've stopped looking back at, you know, everything that's gone on and I want, I'm, I'm really trying to live in, in the now. I've got uh, a new book, which is downstairs, so I'm not gonna be able to get that out right now, uh, on I Ching. I've got some coins, a little box. I, I will show that in another video. So let's finish because this is a rambly video and it's already 20 minutes long with the Forest Fay. I love this deck. My altar at the moment is very nature based because I'm very nature based. Um, my my energies, my my element is earth and it really has been the grounding force for me. So let's finish with one card. Oh, okay. So we have the Troll Fay. Follow the secret signs as treasures can be found where you least expect them. Oh, look at there, looking all wild. There, can you see? I don't know if I'm in the right. I love that. She's beautiful. What a lovely way to end. So there you have it, guys. My little waffle, Sunday morning little waffle for you. Things that are just bringing me some happiness, things in my life. Um, just just an all-round mix-up of mad witching. <laughs> okay, much love. Take care. Bye.